Welcome to another episode of Up and Running with Lacework. My name is Scott Ford and I'm Principal Architect here at Lacework. In today's episode, we're gonna get you up and running with the Terraform provider for Lacework. My guess is you've already heard of Terraform. That's because Terraform is one of the most widely adopted automation frameworks in cloud today. It's cloud agnostic, which means that it runs across all of the major public clouds, including AWS, GCP, and Azure, but is not just limited to public cloud. You can use Terraform to automate other cloud native tooling, such as Kubernetes and Docker containers. And yes, you can also use it to automate the Lacework cloud security platform. But why would you want to do that? Let's take a look. Lacework is the first cloud security platform built from the ground up to meet the challenges of cloud security at scale. Lacework is 100% SaaS, which drastically reduces the overhead on DevOps teams responsible for Lacework, but there are still configurations that must be maintained in order to integrate your cloud environments for cloud compliance and cloud API analysis, to integrate container registries for vulnerability assessments, agent tokens for workload protection, configuring alert rules and alert channels and more. While you can configure all of these settings in the UI, if you're like me, then you've got better things to do than spending time doing manual processes that can be automated. It is for this reason that we at Lacework have been extremely busy this past year, investing a lot of time developing automation tools outside of the platform to support our customers who are adopting a culture of DevOps. Lacework builds and continuously releases the Terraform provider for Lacework, which is used to automate the configuration of Lacework itself. Additionally, we have a growing number of Terraform modules used for automating integrations between our customers' cloud environments and Lacework. In order to use either the provider or the modules, you're going to need to get an environment set up and configured, and that's what we're going to cover today. We'll save using the Terraform modules for a future episode. Now, this video does assume some familiarity with Terraform. If you're new to Terraform, I highly recommend checking out some of HashiCorp's Getting Started documentation, which I will link in the description below. Before we dive in, though, who is this video geared for? This video is geared for companies who have adopted Terraform for infrastructure automation or who are looking to adopt Terraform for infrastructure automation. This is really geared towards teams that are responsible for automating all of the configuration of Lacework. And it's also for any teams out there that believe that all platforms and services they depend on should be automated. There are some prerequisites though. Of course, you're gonna to need to have a Lacework account. You're going to need to have a workstation, Linux, Mac, or Windows, because that's what Terraform runs on. And we do have some Terraform version constraints. You're going to be using, need to be using Terraform version 0.12.26 or higher. So that is we support Terraform 13 and Terraform 14 as well. Okay, so first things first, you do of course have to have Terraform installed. I'm expecting that you already do. If I run Terraform version on my laptop, I'm running 0.14.8. So that is the latest version here on uh, March 16th, uh, 2021. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and just start getting Terraform set up and configure it to authenticate with Lacework. Now, um, all of our Terraform projects, as I mentioned before, are published to the Terraform registry. And so that's at registry.terraform.io. Once you're there, you can search for Lacework and um, you go to this, our, our landing page here. This is the page for the provider, of course, all the modules, which we'll get into in future episode. Terraform have done, uh, HashiCorp have done an amazing job with the Terraform registry for, uh, for all of us developers who are creating providers. So each time we publish a new release, we're also publishing along with that all the documentation and examples so that you can get going with the provider as quickly as possible. Um, when you click here on the documentation, you'll see there's this button right here that says use provider. And this is where it has this code snippet here that says uh, we can go ahead and copy that and paste that into, uh, into a file and, and start to get things set up. So I'm going to go back over here to my terminal and I'm going to open up in a code editor 
a new file called main.tf. So use whatever editor you use on your environment. I'm using VS Code for this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and launch out the new code editor. And I'm going to paste that code snippet right into, uh, into VS Code. And then, of course, save the file. Um, now, <clears throat> the, this block right here is about resolving uh, any providers on the Terraform registry. So if you have multiple providers, you can set that all up in the required providers block. And then lines 10 through, uh, through 12 is where we're gonna configure the Lacework provider to authenticate with the Lacework platform. So for that, we're gonna need some API keys. Now you can, of course, just, um, I'll show you here in the documentation, you can, of course, just configure Lacework, the, the Terraform provider, using static credentials or uh, environment variables. So you can see that we can create an API key and hard code those values, but we're a security company, right? And you're into automation. So I assume that that's not the pattern that you want to take. Now, there are environment variables, which are really great if you're going to end up um, running all of your uh, Terraform configuration for Lacework through a CI pipeline. That's also something we'll cover in a future uh, episode. But for just getting started and getting things configured, there's actually a better way. And the way to do that is really by using what's called the Lacework CLI, the command line interface. And we've done a video on the Lacework CLI for a previous episode of Up and Running with Lacework. But if we search on here for CLI, um, uh, this is support.lacework. Uh, we can, there's a, uh, an article for install and configure the Lacework CLI. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Lacework CLI runs on uh, any platform, Mac, Windows, Linux, et cetera. I'm running on, uh, on Mac right here. So I'm going to grab this first uh, curl command. And this will just go ahead and, uh, and figure out which platform I'm on and install the Lacework CLI locally. So I'll download that that set up and it says right now that the CLI has been successfully installed. And so if I run Lacework version, you can see I've got the uh, Lacework CLI is now installed. Now, how do we actually get this authenticating? Well, we need to come back over here to the platform and we need to create uh, an API key. So I'm gonna go into the settings in Lacework. I'm gonna create a new API key and we'll call this one my, my dash API key. And you can put a description if you like. Um, and now we can click uh, this download button right here. And this will download the API key locally. Now in Mac, it's super easy. Um, I'm just grabbing this file right out of Chrome and I'm gonna select my uh, terminal and I'm gonna drag and drop that right into the terminal. So that's the path where it is on the file system. And uh, we can use a command in the Lacework CLI, which is just Lacework configure dash J and uh, the path to the JSON file. Now, if I hit that and run enter, it's gonna automatically read this JSON file and the contents for it. And it's gonna see that the account uh, for, for my Lacework account is customer demo. You can see that uh, this is actually what's called a Lacework organization. There's multiple sub accounts, but my main account is customer demo. If I hit enter, um, it's going to the uh, access key ID and of course the secret, which is uh, which is hidden here. So if I run that, it says you're all set, clear. I can run the command lacework integration list, and it will hit and validate that I am now authenticating with uh, with the lacework API. So lacework integration list that is also alias to so lacework int list. Um, okay, so now I know that the API keys are set up. That creates a configuration file locally on my system uh, at a path tilde slash dot lacework dot tomal. I'm not going to show this off. This is actually the secrets for my own environment. So no, no sense in showing you those right there. But we can run the command to lacework configure list. And that will show that we've got one configuration. This is my default profile for the customer demo account with this particular API key and a particular secret. This is uh, going to be important. I'll show you in just a minute why. Now, with that, uh, we can, uh, the, the Lacework pro uh, provider uh, will automatically try to read that configuration out of the box. That is the default way that the Terraform provider for Lacework will try to authenticate with the API is to look for that 
local lacework.toml file, dot lacework, uh, dot toml file and look for the configurations in there. So with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab one of our basic examples from the Terraform registry. So again, I'm uh, here on the Lacework provider and on the left-hand side are all the custom resources that we have uh, today. And so one of the things are alert channels. If you wanna route your uh, Lacework events to say, uh, to an email account, or you wanna send events to Datadog or to a JIRA server and open up tickets to appropriate teams. We've got custom resources for all of that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Slack. Um, we use Slack all the time in, in our team. So I'm just gonna grab this example right here. Uh, and I'm gonna move back over to my editor and just paste that right in. So I'll save this right here. Now, of course, this isn't a real webhook and none of this uh, really exists, but uh, I'll just update this one uh, line 15 and we'll call this one, we'll just say up and running with lacework example. So I can clearly pick that one out. All right, so I'm just gonna open up my terminal now and I'm gonna run the command terraform init. And what Terraform init does is it's gonna go back out to the registry. It's gonna pull down uh, the, the, uh, any of the, the Lacework, the Terraform provider for Lacework. If we had other uh, uh, providers as well, it will go and resolve those dependencies. And uh, now with it, and my project initialized, I can run Terraform plan. And this is going to just make sure that everything's set up. You can see I've only got this one resource to add, which is the uh, Slack uh, alert channel. And so we'll just go ahead and run Terraform apply. It'll give me one more opportunity to review the changes. Of course, everything looks good here. So let's go ahead and hit yes. And with that, um, now we can come back over here into the UI. Actually, let's just do it since we're all in the command line right now. We can just run the command again, lacework. I can spell right, lacework int list. And uh, let's just, just to make sure that we've got, um, I think we can do lacework int list dash dash type, and we'll do Slack channel. Cool. And there, sure enough, is our new example, just to view it over here in the UI as well is we've got our alert channels and we can search those alert channels for up and running and there's the new Slack uh, integration. So that's great, it's pending, it's all right, it's an example. So we can go ahead and we can tear down this, uh, this we'll, we can destroy this example as well. So we'll just run the command terraform destroy. Okay. Yes. And with that, that resource is gone. Um, We'll say pipe to grep running. We should see that that, uh, that uh, example is now gone. So perfect. So we know now that the, the provider is configured, we can authenticate with Lacework and now we can start to use the Terraform provider. There's something else that I wanna show you, which is uh, if you're using multiple profiles, there is a way to configure this, to configure the Terraform provider and be able to configure multiple environments uh, at once. So in my example here, I'm going to click view all and I'm going to view that I've got um, my team zone or a uh, sub account inside of our organization. And if I go into the settings there, go into API keys and I create a new API key. So we'll call this one tech ally API key. I'm going to save this. Go ahead and download that one more time. Same thing, I'm gonna go over to my terminal and I'll drag and drop that in here. And I'm gonna say lacework configure dash J, but this time at the end, I'm gonna pass in the flag dash dash profile and call this new profile tech dash alley. And so I'll have a separate profile from the default. I run that, it sees automatically, it's the tech ally account my key ID, my secret key. And now I can actually switch back and forth and I can run the commands like um, lacework, lacework int list dash p tech dash ally. And I can start to interact with the tech ally uh, sub account. 
And the same thing goes for the Terraform provider for Lacework. So um, one of the things that's really common that a number of our customers are doing is they use the Terraform provider and can call the provider multiple times and hit different sub accounts. So with that, I can just pass in the command profile equals and then quotes tech dash ally and save that. And we can now say uh, uh, Terraform a pl uh, plan. And it's going to this time look to uh, apply this to the tech ally. We'll just say apply. This time we'll do auto dash approve. So I'll have to approve it. And sure enough, if we come back over here to the platform, in I'm still in tech ally. Uh, in the Tech Ally organization, uh, you'll see that there is this new integration for up and running with Lacework uh, in Tech Ally. And we can view that as well in the same way the integration list, uh, INT list for Tech Ally. And we'll do again dash dash type uh, Slack underscore channel. And sure enough, my integration was created there. So you can use this um, configure as many different accounts. We have customers that have up to 25 different sub accounts and they can use the Terraform provider uh, multiple times to configure each one of those accounts in uh, with, with Terraform. So back over, this is really the main things we wanna cover. Just wanna get you up and going with this in uh, up, uh, upcoming episodes, we're going to dive into the modules uh, uh, further, but uh, hopefully this gets you going. Uh, I, again, I don't recommend using any of the static credentials for this. The Lacework CLI is the best way to configure this for your local workstation. But if you want to do the same, if you want to configure your environment using uh, environment variables, that's also an option for you as well. So I would recommend if you're going to use this in a pipeline to check out the, the references here around uh, environment variables. And with that, that brings us to the end of Up and Running with Lacework. Hopefully you were able to get yourself set up and configured for the Terraform provider for Lacework. If you've got any feedback, comments, or requests for content, be sure to send it to us at upandrunning at lacework.net. And until then, happy automating. <laughs>